All right, hello everyone. This is basically going to help you run L Connect in the background on Windows Startup. Um, you don't have to worry about opening L Connect. I know L Connect doesn't have a feature where it starts on its own. So, you see, as you can see here, it's not in my overflow area, it's not in the taskbar, but it is running in the background. That is pretty cool. So, I'd like to first point out that I'm on Windows 10 Home. Windows 10 Home. Might not work on Windows 10 Pro. Might not work on Windows 10 Enterprise, etc. Alright, to get started, you are going to make a new directory and your documents are somewhere. You just call it whatever, LConnect Star Minimized. We're going to make a batch file. So, in your empty directory, you will do new text document. It's going to look like this. You're going to just paste this in there. This will be in the description for start I'll connect up at. What this does is it's going to just start I'll connect. It's uh, referencing the I'll connect's default directory. If you installed I'll connect to your default location on Windows 10, this is where it is. Make sure you got that argument there, all that good stuff. Okay, and then you'll want to save it as you'll do all files. Name it like start I'll connect dot bat dot bat really important make sure you select all files want to make sure you did the dot batch correctly you can uh, look here windows batch file it'll say or dot bat and be super sure enable file name extensions all right good to go there now you'll make a new text document in your text document this is what you want to paste i'll have this in the description and the links to where it references from Basically, this is um, a PowerShell script from this person on GitHub, and then uh, this is a fork. Here, I'll show you. Basically, this is what it was. I guess it didn't work too good. This person came along and forked it. Works better. Put that in the description as well. And what's important here is... Um, so what it does is it like hides, maximize, minimizes, restores, show all that, whatever you have it set to, any window that is kind of like um, annoying, like say I'll connect. Anyways, it'll do a, this just, this runs the script, sleeps for one second, then it hides the I'll connect window after it starts and you'll see. So you can just copy all that if you want it to hide and start in the background like I have. And then you're good to go there. Oh, what well, you want to make sure, once you're done with that, that you save it as, you'll select all files. I have it just set windows state.ps1. And again, you'll know because it'll say PS1. All right, perfect. Now let's open task scheduler. In task scheduler, you will select create task, just like that. Um, I already have it, so we'll just go look at mine in here. You can name it like starts I'll connect, starts I'll connect at login. Run whether user is logged in or not. That's definitely needed if you wanted to just hide it like I have. Not worry about it, not take up space, all that good stuff. And then you will have configure for Windows 10. I'll connect does not need admin privileges to run, so you don't have to check this. In the Triggers tab, you will select New. This is what it will look like. Begin task at Logon. Select that. Any users okay? Delay task. This may or may not be needed um, since we're running it whether the user is logged in or not, but I just selected 13 seconds, just in case, you never know. And good to go there, you can hit OK. Down here on Actions tab, Select new. You will uh, do an action, start program. This is just referencing the first dot bat we made, start I'll connect. So this is to start I'll connect. Um, you'll just browse for it. Start I'll connect the bat we made. Just that one, you can select it. That's fine, you can hit okay. Good to go there. Um, if you're on a laptop, you can uncheck these if you want, might help might make sure it runs probably for the best and then you're good you can just hit okay we'll make another one so you'll just do create task 
this is what it's gonna look like. Name is sound like start all connect minimized. That's misspelled, but don't worry about that. Starts all connect minimized that login. Run whether the user is logged in or not. Run with the highest privileges. This is important for this one. Configure for Windows 10, just like the other one. Triggers, you'll select new here. Again, at log on. Any user. May or may not be needed, but probably just do it anyways. Since we're, yeah, just do that. 15 seconds is good. Check that, hit OK. Actions tab, all right, this is where it gets fancy. Start a program. PowerShell.exe, just like that. All right, for the arguments, I'm gonna show you here. It's gonna look like this. Execution policy, the hyphen there, bypass, file. What this is referencing is the PowerShell script we made. An easy way to get this here, because you can just paste that, and you wanna reference that first PowerShell script we made with the quotations, especially. Um, if you have a space in it, but out of the quotations, even if you don't. An easy way to find that is to just go back to your directory that you made. Right click that at the top, copy address as text. Now you can see here, that kind of almost matches. And then you're going to need another forward slash. You just want to make sure you get it right to whatever you named it as. Just go to properties name here add the quotes and you're good to go there see same thing all right and that matches up and that's pretty much how it's made there so we're good to go And then you hit OK. OK again. And what I have here is this stop L connect. I just have this so it just shuts it off when I restart or shut down my computer. It just force closes it. And you, I don't think it's going to hang. I just, I don't know. I just want everything to be snappy. Just shut it off. Don't ask it to shut off. Just shut it off. So to do that, you would just make another dot app if you want to do this. You don't have to. New text document. This is what it's going to look like. Task kill forward slash f. I am lconnect.exe. And that's just going to kill the task. And what we'll do here, you will do a new create task. It'll look like this. Stop lconnect. Closes lconnect on shutdown or reboot. Name it whatever you want. As long as you know what it does. Run when the user is logged on. Run with highest privileges. Configure for Windows 10. All right, you would do new. On an event, being the task on an event system, you would hit this drop down, search for user 32. 1074 is the event ID code that's triggered in the event viewer, which you can see when a user initiates a shutdown or a restart. So if you want to kill L Connect when you shut down or restart your computer, 1074. All right, guys. Well, I hope that helps you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you. Take care.